here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, September the 14th, 2021. It was on this date, 1741, George Friedrich Handel completed the Messiah Oratorio. His librettist, Charles Jennings, had finished the text in July, gave it to Handel. Handel worked at a furious pace, composed from morning to night, and finished it. Messiah, which tells the story of Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection, originally written for the Easter season, debuted in Dublin at a charity concert the following April. There was a full house. 700 people came to hear it. And to make room for all of them, the gentlemen were asked to leave their swords at home and ladies to remove the hoops from their skirts. Messiah became one of Handel's favorite works for the rest of his life. Mozart supervised a new arrangement in 1789 and was reluctant to change anything about it. It's the birthday of Margaret Sanger, born Corning, New York, 1879, the woman who coined the term birth control and who founded Planned Parenthood. She was born into a working-class Irish family. Mother died at the age of 50 after 18 pregnancies. Margaret became a nurse, worked in the maternity ward on the Lower East Side. Many of her patients, poor, many of them ended up in the hospital from self-induced abortions. At a time when contraceptives were illegal in this country, it was illegal even to send information about them through the mails. Margaret Sanger wrote a series of articles called What Every Girl Should Know. Went to Europe, observed birth control clinics, opened one in the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn in 1916. Nine days later, the police closed it down, arrested Margaret Sanger, who spent a month in jail. She founded the American Birth Control League, which became Planned Parenthood, and she funded research to create a contraceptive pill. It's the birthday of the novelist Ivan Klima, born in Prague, 1931, author of Waiting for Dark, Waiting for Light, and Love and Garbage, and his play The Castle. And it's the birthday of the essayist Barbara Harrison, born Barbara Grizzuti in Brooklyn, 1934. She grew up Jehovah's Witness, went to live at the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society in Brooklyn Heights. And in 1978, she came out with a memoir, Visions of Glory, A History and a Memory of Jehovah's Witnesses, author of other books of essays, including Off Center and The Astonishing World. She died in 2002. Here's a poem for today by Linda Gregg, a poem entitled Surrounded by Sheep and Low Ground. When death comes, we take off our clothes and gather everything we left behind, what is dark, broken, touched with shame. When death Demands we give an accounting. Naked we present our lives in bundles. See how much these weigh, we tell him, refusing to deny what we have lived. Everything that is touched by light loves the light. We, the stubborn as grass, we who reel at the taste of sap, and want our spirits cleansed, will not betray the weeds, snake, or crippled mare. Never leave behind what the light shone on. Linda Gregg's poem, Surrounded by Sheep and Low Ground, from her collection, All of Its Singing, New and Selected Poems, published by Grey Wolf Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 